All right, let's say you created your own unique material in your shader node for an object. You spent some time on it and it required quite a few nodes or whatever the case may be. And you finally decided this is what I want. I want an emission that is also glossy. So we can see it reflect as well. And you could have any material. This is just an example. Now that you've got the material that you like, and instead of recreating this, um, there are a few ways you can go about this. So if we select the other material, the sphere, go to materials, we press new. Then we go back here. We could do it this way. We would just select all of this, press control C, select this, control V to paste. Move this over here, select this, delete that, and then just connect this. But I feel that's just too many steps. So what you could do, you could select the object that you want to have a material, and you shift and select the object with the material, and you press Control L, and you click materials. And just like that, you transform it. Hopefully this short tip is super useful for yourself of how you can copy materials from one object to another. One thing to keep in mind is that um, this is linking the material. So if you go back to this original material and you, for example, change this to green, it's going to change everything to green. Um, but let's say you want this to be able to edit them independently. First thing you want to do is now that you've got this material here, you can just go over here. One sec. You can press over here to copy this material. And now there's no more fake users. Uh, now there's no more linked users to this material. So now when you change this, it won't affect the other shape. But it still has all the default settings from the previous material. Hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on how to copy materials, how to link them, and how to separate them. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.